Hi, this is Cheryl Wilson, um, Abstract Painter. I wanted to share with you and show you a technique that I use called mono printing. And these are several of the papers that I am going to be demonstrating made with the same technique. They're different substrates, but the technique is actually the same. Mono printing is a great technique for creating spontaneity and unique papers. Abstract painting is, is actually not very um, easy. Um, as you can see, the um, paints I'm going to use in this video are the Goldens. I use the High Flow and the Regular Flow. But the papers I use is I use a variety. The one there is a painted uh, paper that I already painted on. I use deli paper. I use um, ro red rosin papers, and I can put the link below. Watercolor papers. But the um, papers, what I do later is I rip these up and put these in my canvases. Because as I was mentioning, abstract painting is not easy. And by having some different techniques that are so unique that cannot be reproduced in any other way to add to your canvases, you're going to get that uniqueness in your abstracts that you want. If you were to paint a landscape, you basically, basically are going to know what the landscape is going to look like. But by adding these papers with the, the flowing of the golds and the blues and the drippings, the way they drip and the way the um, lacing in the papers. Um, there is there somehow the gold is more um, thickened on the top. There's there's an example of the red rosin paper, um, which is a very absorbent paper that has picked up uh, the blues and um, the red spaces, the kind of orange spaces that you see are, that's the paper showing through. And there's just no other way you're going to get that type of a look in any other uh, type of um, papers that you're going to purchase or buy. There's one where the painting was underneath and I just added the mono print on the top. Now remember mono print is just a single pool. Um, so you're going to get uh, the uniqueness is just is is not something that you're going to get if a print is done. A print is basically done where you have multiple uh, copies made, but a mono print is one single pooled print. So I will show you how this technique is done, and I think will be a lot of fun, and I think it's going to add an awful lot of um, spontaneity and uniqueness to your abstract pieces and your canvas. So I hope, hope you enjoy this. All right, I am going to do. I am doing a demonstration of mono printing, and I'm going to be using uh, Golden's uh, fluid acrylics and uh, water, and I'm going to be using different types of uh, medium like paper. I'll be using art tissue paper, deli paper, watercolor paper, drawing paper. Um, drawn paper that already has some painting on it and uh, red rosin paper which has a lot of um, ability to soak up the paint. This is a piece of glass and I have taped it with painter's tape to a canvas and I you know they give the ability to, to wipe it off. So monoprinting is a lot of artists use this to add um, a lot of color to their um, mixed media and it's a great way to add some different um, texture and looks to your um, paintings. 
So right now I'm just using uh, the color wheel. The color wheel that I'm using, um, I'm using a lot of the colors that are on the cool side so that the colors when they mix don't get a lot of mud. Whoop! That was, that was fun. That's when your paint has some um, a clog in it. I'm using these little small ones because um, it's just a little bit easier to, to pull them out and uh, I refilled this one. I know there's some All right, so then what I'm going to do is add beautiful colors here, and I'm just going to mix them together. This is on the glass. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more titanium white, because that titanium white seems to be a little bit Add a little more water. Okay, I'm gonna start with a piece of this is uh, deli paper. The art tissue paper and the deli paper feel a lot the same. This is the um, deli paper. Some papers are more absorbent than others. This is the art tissue paper. Look how that just absorbs. Hold it over on itself when it dries. It'll be really beautiful. let that dry. Now I'm going to grab some, um, this is um, drawing paper, press it down in, get some good color going there. Isn't it beautiful? If you want to grab some more in a spot that you didn't get, just press it down in again. Um, I'm losing some of my color because some of it's already been absorbed. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can grab another print. Now you can also, on these, when you get a design, you can also draw in them. Some of the end of my paintbrush. So we'll let that dry. Let's add some more. Let's do some more turquoise. Let's add some more white. Now I'm going to add, let's see, let's do a little bit more blue. That is a cobalt blue. Okay, let's go ahead and just add some more white, some, give it a nice squirt. Now we're gonna grab, um, this is a piece of paper that was already painted on, watercolor paper. Nice. Kind of like a, almost like a marbleizing. Let's grab some of that over there. So it's got some beautiful qualities. Now I'm going to grab, this is called red rosin paper. This is a piece that really soaks up the paint. Isn't it beautiful? I don't mind some of the rust coming through on that. Look at that, beautiful lacing that's happening there. Let's add 
add some more and let's throw in throw in some gold here. Gold helps everything. So let's add some more. There's some more of the. Now we're doing this with just the regular high flow, um, regular flow paint. And then I'll do a demonstration with some high flow so you see the difference between how much liquid is in the paint. Isn't that beautiful, that gold? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now, let's throw in some high flow here. Now my high flows are very used bottles, so. See how that just takes off, so let's grab this time, this is a piece of drawing paper. Just soaks that up. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Let's throw in some more. Now this is the high fluid gold. And Let's do another paper that had some drawing already on it. Again, I don't mind not, it not covering the paper because it adds anything that you add, you're just adding some beauty and um, interest. 